Good day, pupils. Welcome back to our online class. Today, we are going to continue from where we stop in physical and health education. Our topic is physical fitness. In our previous class, we looked at what is physical fitness and the component of physical fitness. Today, we are going to continue from there where we stopped by looking at measurement of physical fitness. On the board, we have the four components of physical fitness, and we are going to be looking at what we use to measure these four components of physical fitness. The first component that we'll be looking at is agility. Agility. This can be measured with 100 meter shuttle race. This can be measured with 100 meter shuttle race. Number two is power, which is the ability to do work. This can be measured by the distance covered. Power can be measured by the distance that is covered when we are carrying out work. When we walk, we usually go to an extent. And so the extent that we go in carrying out our work using power is what we use to measure power. Number three is flexibility. This straight knee to touch can be measured to, can be used to measure flexibility. If you want to measure flexibility, as I'm standing before you, we said flexibility has to do with how the ability to bend the body without falling. So if I touch my knee and I can be able to touch it like this, I can twist myself. I can actually be said to be flexible. So that is how to measure flexibility. Then we'll go to number four component, which is balance. The balance is the ability to keep a, to a particular position without falling or moving. That is what we said last week. So how can we measure balance? This can be measured with beam work, where an individual walking on a beam holds his body straight in an upright position. These are the way we can measure the four component of physical fitness. We are going to look at the benefits of physical fitness. What are the benefits of physical fitness? Number one, it helps the body to withstand stress. It helps the body to withstand stress. If you are walking and after walking for a long time, you are still strong, you are not sick, it shows that you were you, you are able to withstand that prolonged uh, stress. So physical fitness is what helps the body to withstand uh, stress. Number two, it helps the skin look healthier. It makes the skin look healthier. Physical fitness makes our skin to look healthier. You are strong because you are physically fit. Number three, it helps to prevent minor illnesses. It helps to prevent minor illnesses. 
We said last week that somebody that is physically fit, we know easily fall sick because you are strong. You have the strength to be able to walk and still enjoy other uh, legion work that you want to do. So it helps to prevent minor illnesses. Number four and the last benefit of physical fitness is it helps to reduce pains in the body parts. It helps to reduce pains in the body parts. If we talk about physical fitness, we cannot uh, complete it without talking about aerobics. And when we are involved in aerobics, we are actually exercising the body. When we exercise the body, we have strong body so that when we are involved in any activities, we discover that pain is reduced because we are used to these activities through the aerobics we normally do, either on daily basis or weekly, and so on. That is all we can take for today on, on our group. You can do the homework. Thank you. Bye. Educating you without compromise.